Uh, good morning. Welcome back to the uh, Ohio farm. It's 7 in the morning, mid-November. It's pretty dark. I was expecting to get a little lighter. Might have to start sleeping in until 8 o'clock, I guess. Just missed it. <laughs> uh, Should have went in, I'm telling you. There we go. That was better. Okay. Um, we had a worker working out in that cotton field till probably about 7 o'clock last night. Yeah, that's not going to roll. Oh, did I leave the door open? Oh, man. Good thing it's pretty safe here. Do we have a full honey pallet? We do. If I remember correctly, we've got... Okay. Let's get skid steer. First things first, we're going to get that herbicide off of that gooseneck. drove up onto the trailer for it. These are heavy. Get it down. There we go. Wow. Okay, we're going to put it over here. So, I'm going to take the lot. Remember what I was talking about? Was it yesterday morning? Uh, let's see how much more we get. I think we're getting about a honey pallet a day. I think that might be right. Got some get up and go. sells itself because I haven't seen any I haven't seen anything come in for it yet you know
still put off the work. Uh, no, no, no. I have to cut on the lip of the tailgate. What's going on with the... Skid steer the weight. Can't be off. better light? I don't think so. I want to have a good straight in on this one though. That may be better. We got honey pallets. Best price for honey right now is there. We go seventeen fifty five at the co op. drop this off we'll get down into the uh, cotton contract field get started again I think nice morning Where is the sheriff this morning? here
the map up, not taking straps off. Looks like we got seven on, 700 per pallet. Yep, 701. Yep, got a little lighter. That's nice. All right, I think we've got what? This is the last cotton field, right? So we've got cotton in this field we gotta get off. I think there's three bales there. These are going to sell everything container. as are the bales in the field we're currently in. And he's trying that spot again today. Ha <laughs> ha, boiled. All right. I think I see the picker. No, I don't. <laughs> Thought I did. There I see it. Oh, he doesn't have too much to go yet. Let's just get him going. Potato or sugar beet? That is a sugar beet. 320. Eh, that's not enough savings for me to, for me to bite. Okay. Just Alice was for sale. Yeah, if they can make a model for um, decoration, can't they make it for use? Okay, this uh, fast track. is a contract fast track we're going to go to the first cotton field the one that we started but couldn't finish
think I fixed the steering. I don't think you're supposed to drive down the road with the uh, all wheel on. There, I got it fixed. So, let's see here. I like, can't remember how to work this thing. So these are all going, well, or at least the ones that need to be delivered are going to Ohio Agri Co-op. And then we'll figure out where the rest can go. So my guess is it's going to take more than three to finish this contract. It's probably going to take all these but one. Or it might even take all of them. So yesterday, yesterday in the last episode, beginning of November, we delivered uh, our canola harvest, which was the field behind the house. I think it's field two. We got somewhere around forty, forty-five thousand dollars for that. I think. So you'll see when we start selling the excess cotton bales how much more lucrative it is to do contracts than to than your own fields I was going to say, I need to remember the sheriff's up here, but even though I'm in a fast track, it's not going to get going over the speed limit. Things should start slowing down here pretty quick. Not much more to be done. I think if there's a if there is a corn harvest available after I complete this uh, what cotton contract series <laughs> series of cotton contracts that we took on, maybe we'll look at uh, grabbing that corn harvest here in November yet. December we'll be selling off our wheat and our barley. January will be potatoes. And I guess an opportunity to sell silage. We've got a ton of that. Oh, we got to check, see how our stave silo fermentation process is going. So we got to turn that off once it's out of grass all right so let's keep track of our percentage delivered we've got three bales I think we gotta hit this twice one time to prepare it on load and one down low watch top right one bale was 16, 32, 48. A 
Yikes. That's interesting. It's going to take all the bales off that field, maybe one more. All right, if my calculations are correct, this will take us up to 96%. Man, that's rough. <laughs> That's a relief. Thought I was going to need a bale from another field just to complete that one. So it's not a pure, uh, I guess, linear progression. Like a regular bailing contract, you can kind of figure out exactly what you need to do. So since we're here, probably the best thing to do would be go into this field and grab the uh, bales off of it. take them to the sell everything and then we'll be able to complete but we don't want to collect this one because this is what we got the equipment on one that's going to deliver for first will deliver on this one or the other field. So 
says he's done down there. That's good. Put cotton behind us. Go on and do a corn harvest, right? <laughs> I want to make sure we get the chickens fed. Got to check on the cows. Sell everything. Interesting. So it's delivering on field 12 first. That's okay. So yeah, let's get uh, let's get this in operating position again. Get these bales up. So at this point, everything's going to the sell everything container. So I guess I don't need to worry about anything other than just get them all delivered. Looks like. What, two trips? Looks like it. That's it, huh? Oh, there's some... There's some cotton left, ain't there? What did he do? Don't know. Well, I'm hoping there's enough in the back to make another bale. What do we got? Three. Let's check out, see what's going on. So we got the one on the back here. What do we got inside? Not going to be enough. There's kind of almost no point in doing it. Maybe that's why he stopped. Do we go through the motions, see what we can get? It's not going to be enough, I don't think. But let's fire it up. Yeah, there's no way. This is a uh, exercise in futility right here. So, my goodness, what what did we get finished on? Oh man, I'm worried again. <laughs> Why? Don't like the stress of uh, not knowing whether you got to be able to complete the contract. I mean, we took all the cotton off the field. We had nearly a full bale when we started 
on whatever it was, field 15, the one that we, our pickers disappeared on us. I mean, we only lost a partial bale on that and we brought a almost full one. We gotta be ahead. We have to, we have all the cotton off these three fields. There's no reason why it shouldn't be enough. I wonder if you can buy these woods. Probably not. My biggest complaint about this map is that all the land is not purchasable. No way. Not going to happen. Drop it off. We'll just park it right here. All right. So that everything is going to the sell everything. That was kind of a waste of time. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. So I believe this should, this ought to complete the contract. I think. Oh, did, who took out the stop sign? Did I do that? <laughs> I must have. It's embarrassing. Don't take the mailbox out. This is a cornfield to my right that needs harvesting. The contract should still be there because the corn's still there. So I'd like to take that. How much money are we going to make off these cotton contracts? I want to make a bunch. I want to make like 50000 over and above. I don't think that's going to happen. If I get one bale over and above, it'll be about 20, 25,000. It's a nice big building. I should build a big old pole barn on my land. I don't know if I'm going to. Not sure we've made the wisest use of our building space just yet, but you know, if you got the space, you'll fill it just like you know, a house. You know, you'll end up getting enough furniture to fill it up, and then it'll end up being cluttered after you do that. Pardon me, all right, so. I hope this completes the contract because I need those other three for the other contract, I think. We'll see. So one bale is pretty much going to be ours, I think. We can count on. 
So where's the best place to sell bales? We're going to have to bring it here anyway, I think. But cotton is up there. Cotton, 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 cotton. There it is. Best price is here, too. So that makes me feel better that the best we're bringing it and going to have to sell it at where the best price is. So. Go grab that. Get it back here to the field. Alright, I'm arriving back at the sell everything container. This is all the cotton that we're going to have. So this will be completing the contracts. And I think we'll probably get paid for one of them. Which I'm hoping will be somewhere in the neighborhood of $25,000. Dollars. Then we can collect on the contracts. How much will those be? I don't know. I think we might get up to around three hundred thousand dollars. To be honest with you, let's see what we get. Here it goes. Bing. Twenty-two thousand. Okay. I almost got excited and went and collected on the contracts. I gotta get back to the store and back to my pickup to do that. And in the interest of time, we'll jump cut and I'll see you there. How about that? Sound good? All right, I'll see you at the store in like five seconds. Here we are. Arriving at the store. Put this back where we got it. Cotton picker they can deal with. On their own. Is that a pressure washer over there? I wonder if that's a usable pressure washer in the store parking lot. I think it, I bet it probably is. Oh, no. It's just a hose reel. <laughs> Got a little bit of lag. So we want to collect on those contracts. Let's do that. Okay. So we've got three of them here. It's only going to be about 25000 but hey, I'll take it. Collect, collect, collect. Almost 300 Oh, that's so awesome. So let's fire up the truck here. We're gonna head over to the west place. I wanna I wanna feed the chickens and check on the cows. And then we gotta figure out what we're gonna do next, I think. I think we need to take on that corn contract. Go the back way through the woods. I think right now the only thing that's gonna be ready to harvest is gonna be corn, soybeans, maybe. And cotton. I think we did all the cotton. It looked like there's only one corn contract available. I don't know if any more will come, come up. I've been thinking about how to spend some money. Because <laughs> it burns a hole in my pocket, I tell you. 
Now I know I need about 400,000 for that field that I want to buy. But that's a long time away. It's like next summer. That's six months away probably still. So I don't know if I should be too concerned about that yet. I don't know if that should keep me. from doing what I think I ought to do. So this is what, I can't see through the tree. That's my oil seed radish. And that field, that field we want to put in corn and we want to do corn silage with it. That's gonna be quite a bit. Okay, I keep editing it out. Every time I drive past or work past this little grass pasture area right here I don't know if I've said I would like to acquire that I think I keep ending up editing it out as I drive by because I'm trying to make time on these videos we'll see if it survives this time <laughs> or I'll probably edit that whole drive back uh, out of it so the field to my right right now is one I want to buy I think it's in canola right now that's our field in canola Yeah, I've been having all sorts of ideas of how to expand. Uh, we need to get those calves into the cow shed at some time soon. Either today or tomorrow, I suppose. What am I doing here? It's going to feed chickens, that's what it was. This time we're gonna think ahead. We're gonna put the weight on. Oh, I wonder if I can, can I get to one of the grain bins? I would like to see. get to it. Okay. Get to it without hitting anything. Okay, what I would like to see is if you can What's in here? Barley. Okay, nice. You can take it out with a bucket. That's nice. That's good for future reference instead of worrying about having the trailer. I guess I should put this up, right? Beacon on. But we're gonna run across. Ooh, where'd she go from? And then the pickup. We're gonna run across to the neighbors here. Since we have, I think, wheat in there. And we'll take it out just like we did last time. But this time we gotta wait so it's not gonna flip us so flip us up like it did last time. probably end up overfilling because we won't need all of it. There we go. I got a thousand liters. There's no way that's going to be not enough. It'll be too much. This little bucket only holds about a thousand, huh? I think that's probably the future for this tractor is to kind of be kind of yard work. <laughs> not not like doing mowing the lawn, but like uh, running around the yard, shunting trailers back and forth, maybe feeding chickens, feeding cows, that kind of stuff.
Okay, so that's going to be full now, right? So it took about 360, 354 liters, something like that. So the rest of this will take back. So what's in the field bin? Is it barley or is it wheat? Doesn't matter, we can feed either to the chickens. Maybe that's where we should keep the feed for the chickens. Should we get more chickens? Um. So we'll just go ahead and we'll put this back in. Like that. There we go. So I want to check this Dave silo, make sure it's still chugging away. It's out, isn't it? Yep. So turn off. So we got nearly 300,000 liters of silage in the stave silo and I don't think I can see how much is in the bunker without peeling it back but I'm sure it's 100% fermented I think it's probably what half a million in there probably easily and the cows how, how are the cows doing how are we doing girls so yeah, feed's about halfway, straw's about halfway. Um, reproduction 80, 80. And then the chickens are doing fine. And then our calves are now eight months. Now, if I remember 12 months, they start producing milk. Does it say? Doesn't say. Oh, maybe if I go up here. There we go. Doesn't say. Okay. So we're going to have to start filling up the manure again. All right. So I'm getting some ideas about what I want to do next. Let's go take care of those weeds. How about that? Light enough now we can see that that'd be a good thing to do.
Might take a little bit because I gotta walk. I'm not particularly fleet of foot carrying that little hand sprayer, but. Look at that, we are almost at 300,000, which means we're probably gonna spend some money. <laughs> All right. Forgot I gotta start my engine. There's just a couple of weeds out here. So we'll... This is so much better than getting the big old sprayer on the back of the John Deere 4755. I think. Am I not getting him? There we got him. It stepped on it so I think if you get close enough step on it, it should be close enough to spray it no why are you not getting it some of them actually when they reach maturity some of them are uh, resistant to spray that might be the case there. I'll try and get it on the way back. I'll just hit the sprayer and walk by it and see if I can get it this time. There we go. I guess it's probably just a little too, I don't know, as Mr. Sealy P would say, cheeky, to think you can just spritz it. And you're going to get it, so. I mean, what we've got, I don't know what it holds. What's that noise? I'm walking on gravel. Is that the noise? I think so. <laughs> wow. Noisy walking on gravel. I think there's just a little bit over here. So while I'm here, I was thinking about maybe putting in a garden over here. So maybe diversifying a little bit and doing some more productions type stuff so maybe putting in a little garden a little garden shed over here and uh i, I was sure they're oh is it way over by bills i thought i saw some weeds in here Yeah, I'm heading towards them. I see them. I got a bead on them. I go walk over here and get these weeds. now got it okay weed spraying is done so let me go put this away still got seven liters
I think I've got probably about fifty, sixty thousand dollars is just burning a hole in my pocket that I got to figure out a way to spend. But uh, you're gonna have to come back next time to see that because uh, we spent quite a bit of time on this episode. My walking through the uh, field on foot probably uh, wasn't the quickest thing ever, but. I appreciate you hanging out with me here at the Ohio farm. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. Uh, and if you did enjoy it, hit that like button. And if you don't subscribe yet, why not? Don't cost nothing. We'll see you next time here at the Ohio farm. Station.